One constable's pay slip dated April 2018 reads negative 3,061 shillings and 85 cents as his net pay for the month. This is after being deducted 37,541 shillings and 85 cents for university and personal loans as well as police welfare contributions and tax. Since the court told us only those who are employed as graduates have gotten their salary, their salary has been listed. But, but those who, who graduated after being enlisted in police service, their salary has not been listed. The disgruntled officers say that there is no need why they should continue to collect negative paychecks, yet they have upgraded their academic qualifications, hoping for a better salary. The audit of their academic certificate was done, but after the, the audit was done, only those who who are enlisted as as graduates their salary was reinstated their salary was 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 reinstated but the others they have not gotten any any response from the CID boss those who who got graduate while working they have been discriminated especially the CID department their salary has not been reinstated as we as we speak now and the, to to our supplies they have gotten negative salaries for the month of April. The recent decision to give police officers pay cuts has been frowned upon by the Central Organization of Trade Unions, whose Secretary General Francis Atwali now proposes that all men and women in uniform deserve to form a trade union and that the current laws forbidding that are irrelevant. <laughs> Yakusema police should not go on strike but to mediate and also to enter into dialogue for their rights. Nitawiliza police na nitatangaza nitakuwa hapa na press conference. Niambie police siku ya Jumatano kama watapata union lakini sio sasa. Siku ya Jumatano dakika 20 peke yake kuanza Waanza saa saa sita ndiyo mzuri. Saa sita na nusu, paka kama bado taka kumbi saa saba. Wasumame tupa hali polisi yuko. Hata kiona muisa sishugulike nae. Atwali who in mid-March stated that the service is not allowed to review salaries downwards without consulting employees also insisted that a unilateral decision to reduce salaries amounts to an unfair labor practice contrary to Article 41 of the Constitution. Further, Section 10.5 of Employment Act 2007 makes it mandatory for an employer to consult an employee where there is any change to the particulars of employment. Other than their salaries, Atwali wants their health care insurance cover improved. NPSC CEO Joseph Onyango is said to have written to IG Joseph Boynet on March 7th, proposing the stoppage of additional payments and reversal of tax exemptions, benefits of salary adjustments and variations based on disability. The letter also stated that police officers should acquire additional education certificates, which are degrees. In March this year, a court temporarily suspended the directive to reduce the salaries of police officers who have acquired university degrees. Labor Court Judge Brian Ongaya, who gave two police officers the go-ahead to file for orders to prohibit the chairman and the IG from implementing the directive, Ayub Madenge and Oscar Misiko through their lawyer Albert Simiu, moved to court for orders stopping the NPS from reducing their salaries by over 46%. Leila Mohamed, NTV.